Hey, this is Ryan with Publicity, and we are here at Vivid Cabaret for their G-string cutting ceremony, and we actually have here Miss Savannah Sampson. Welcome, Savannah. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Great to see you. Well, you're actually originally from upstate New York, so you're back in the Big Apple. What's most exciting for you about being back in New York City? Wait a second. Let's get something straight here. Right. Let's get something straight. I live in the Big Apple. I moved, I moved away from upstate when I was, what, 17. I came to Manhattan to pursue a dance career. And, you know, since then I've you know, done the adult industry. And now I live, I live in Manhattan, and I love it. Now, you recently were inducted into the AVN Hall of Fame. Congratulations on that. But you've taken what you did on camera and you've really parlayed it into an extremely successful career as an entrepreneur off camera. You have your, your production company and you also have your wine business. Tell us a little bit more about the wine business. It's really exciting. You know, I, I really started as a way of something I could bank on in the future and it was really just another passion of mine. But since then, in 2011, I actually bought a vineyard. So before it was like a little journey through Italy discovering some not so well known grapes and now I actually own a piece of paradise and really my job is to make it work in the U.S. now and um, it's so wonderful to have a piece of something that I can be so proud of. And now did you always have a very definitive decisive palette to where you could tell different like oaky flavors and everything or did you develop that? You know, I've, I've always had a good palette. I didn't, it, sometimes it was difficult to put my finger on what I'm actually tasting. But I, I can, I can t tell a quartz wine in a heartbeat, you know, and um, I find that my palate's getting more and more developed every day. The, the more and more I'm in the wine business, and everything, like I'm, you know, my friends are always like, God, you're so, you're so sensitive to smells and taste, you know, because I, I it's too sensitive. Well, it's funny because when I was younger, my parents used to say, well, if we go out to drinking with Ryan when he's 16 and we order a $200 bottle of wine, he'll never drink Old English. They were wrong, but I, but I, but I was able to develop at least an appreciation for fine wine for sure. Now, you've been pretty candid about your family, and you know I believe the quote was, quote, they were devastated about the career decisions that you made. And so we're guessing your parents don't drink alcohol. No. <laughs> you know, it's funny because... What I didn't realize, like I thought I wanted to do my wine business as a way to carry on a legacy as Savannah Sampson. I never wanted to be a fallen star, but really it brought me back to my roots because when I was a little girl, we made wine in my basement. My sisters and I would take turns churning the grapes. And so I just, I didn't realize that, but really I, I've all, it's always been close to my heart because of my dad and my, my family. So, so interesting. So, now, uh, what advice do you have for young women whose family may not necessarily be supportive of the industry, but they want to pursue it for their own professional careers? It's, you know, it, it's the kind of question that, like, I, I love the adult industry. I, I, you know, it's a way to, to, you know, fulfill my fantasies and this and that, but I, I also... I have a lot of problems with it and that all my, my work is plastered for free on the internet. And you know, maybe I wasn't didn't know or wasn't smart enough to protect myself that way, but I find it's too readily available for kids and people. I think adults should pay for their porn and so for me to advise someone to go into the adult industry, I'm I would like it to be more responsible before I do that. Us being in New York City, I have to ask, Broncos or Seahawks? Well, with the Broncos, we have what the n number one offense in NFL history, right? Against the Seahawks, with the Legion of Boom and their running game, um, I have a strong feeling of the Seahawks. I can't help it. You know, you know defense. It's fair to say wins Super Bowl. And the weather. Who knows what it's going to be like? You know, if you keep Peyton Manning on the sidelines, you know. What's going to happen? He's going to be off his game. So we'll see. Very good. Well, pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for joining us here at Publicity, and have a nice night. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you.